Hello and welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry VTT, of course, and we're looking at a add-on module today. Uh, first of all, let's start off by pointing out the fact that this is a premium module. It's one of Ripper 93's. Um, so if you are a patron of Ripper 93, you get all of his premium modules as part of that patron. Okay, so you're not having to pay for them individually, um, but you can't get this one unless you are a patron. So just put that out there right now. Um, and also I ought to add on that this is not sponsored. I'm not paid for this. I haven't been given anything free. Um, I have chosen to pay for Patreon myself so that I can show off some of Ripper's stuff, um, but I don't feel beholden to telling him he's marvellous when he's not. But he's pretty down good, eh? <laughs> we love his stuff. Um, but I don't feel compelled to say that unless I believe it. All right, so what are we looking at? Should I stop sucking up to people? Um, we're looking at token flip today. So it's just in here. Uh, now, even though this is a premium module, if you do choose to uh, become a patron, there's very clear instructions. I followed them, and I'm a Muppet, so you guys can too. If you do decide to, there's very clear instructions of how you can make sure that your patron is linked to... Um, your foundry account therefore when you go to on the front page let's do it let's show you what I mean when you come to your add-on modules here normally you won't see that content um, so when you go to install module you won't be able to get it but if you are a member of the patreon you follow this very simple instruction it links the two together so now you can actually find those ripper things in here in fact actually, i'm not sure if you can just search for a ripper and bring up yes and the right at the top is puzzle locks we'll get to that <laughs> we'll get to that but straight away it's bringing up a whole bunch of stuff um from ripper's stuff uh, that is right here for us if we want to we've got levels and things like that and this is including quite a lot of his premium stuff that normally wouldn't be in here okay so it's really easy i can do it you can do it you know any any muppet can do it nice and simple right let's get back to what we talk about so what the heck is token flip all right so uh thank you very much come in here let's zoom in at the top here we're going to use in this part of the screen to demo this now this is a slightly silly demo um because it depends how you want to use it let's say you have a bugbear um but it's not just a bugbear it's a bugbear werebear okay because why not terrify your party just a little bit more? Um, so what happens when this bugbear becomes a werebear? What we can do, of course, is we can go, oh yeah, right, get rid of the bugbear, and we drag in the werebear. There we go, there's your werebear token ready to go. Now, there's some problems with that, of course, is because it means we've either got the bugbear with the bugbear stats, or we've got the werebear with the werebear stats. So that's not actually how we want that to work. So just dragging out new actors isn't correct. Um, although you could say that they're not going to they're not going to fight with the bugbear because as soon as it looks a bit hairy, he's going to turn into into the werebear. So all of the stats on the werebear is all you need. Yeah, maybe whatever. Um, so you could do it that way, but it's it's not great, is it? What if we had instead is we had one. Let's get rid of you. And get rid of you as well. I don't need you. If we had one actor that had all the stats and everything, but we could just flip basically flip the image or flip the token that we're using from one to the other hey guess what this mod does <laughs> it does exactly that so let's double right click on the, our bugbear here and because we've got this token flip um, uh, installed and active um, we get this little bar here okay so we'll click on this and we get a menu so this first thing is saying that this is the image we're currently using um, we can use 3d we don't use 3d models yet we've not looked at 3d models but if we are using 3d models you can absolutely use 3d models here rather than flat images and it's representative actor is a bugbear of course and we've got the new uh, the, the normal kind of dimensions for the token and the scale of the image on that token as well but we can add a new face which sounds creepy as but we can um, and if I go into tokenizer here and NPC images I can scroll all the way down and find whatever's relevant I'm choosing werebear for this example now we've got two so I'm going to close that I'm going to update the token uh, so I've now got my bugbear but if I right click on my bugbear I've now got bottom right I've got this swirly kind of icon simple left click simple left click and it's just switching between those two tokens. How slick is that? So the actor has not changed. Okay, so we can do more. We can do more. 
So do <laughs> double click that and open this up um, and we can add a third face if we want to. I'm going to just choose some silly things here because, you know, I don't want another bugbear. That would be silly. Let's pick a bandit. Um, and then I'm going to add another face on. So we get, we're up to four now already. Um, and let's pick, let's pick a corpse. Just why not? So we now got four. Okay, I'm going to update that. So now we can keep clicking this and it's going to go through those, which is great. If we if we right click and then hold down left button on here, we get a little pop up so we can jump straight to the image that we want. Bop. There we go. Back to the one we want. So right click, hold down left button, find the one I want, change to that one. OK, so you can have well, I don't know what the limit is. I've got four. I can't imagine you'd want any more than that. And I suspect it is unlimited. Um, there's no reason it would be capped except for resources of your machine to, to do it. Um, but you can have them on there, which is really nice. OK, so why might we use this? I mean, I'm using a bugbear werebear just as a, a relatively silly example. But what if, for example, you have a party that are very much into kind of like the role play side of it. They do a lot of that. They may want a token for their character where there's one where they're in their full armor. There's one where they're in their evening dress. There's one when they're just hanging around town. Um, they might have multiple versions of their same, you know, of their same um, character token in things like armor ball gown, whatever it might be. And this is a really nice way for them to just flip between their outfits. Yeah. Uh, I think for a lot of groups, they wouldn't, you know, they don't go that far. They might describe it. But for some groups, they absolutely will. And it's a really nice way of them representing what they're currently wearing in a given situation. You know, they're off to the palace to get their reward. And, the and, you know, the barbarian turns up in his loincloth and the fighter turns up in his full plate mail armor armed to the teeth. You know, <laughs> do they? Are they going? <laughs> is that actually how they're going dressed to this stuff? You might want to, um, you know, expand on that. Or you might not care. Well, you know, whatever works for your game. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really potentially really nice um, feature for this. Now, remember, of course, this is part of the Ripper's premium lot. So if you're paying for uh, Ripper's Patreon membership, you're getting this as part of that anyway. It's no additional cost. So if you're already paying the Patreon, why not use this? Um, would you pay the Patreon just to get hold of this one? I don't know. Depends how useful it is for your group. That's the only decision you and your players can make, of course. Uh, but just remember, the more of the premium ones you use, the better value for money is being a member of that patron because you get all access to all of the premium ones free. Right, what else can we do here? So if I double right click on here and go back into this configure, we can play with some of these. So let's I'm going to play with some of these figures here. I'm going to, for the second one, I'm going to make the dimensions of the grid, so the t actual token size, two by two which effectively is 10 by 10 because each grid square is 5 by 5 in my map. Um, with this one, I'm going to actually scale down the token size, if I can be accurate enough with it. And this one, I'm going to token scale up the token size. All right. So what, is, what the heck is that done? So our bugbear token is 100% normal size on a 5 by 5 token, one square. But when he transitions into Werebear, it's going to be a 2x2 two two square token or 10x10 10 10 token. Suddenly that bugbear is now a Werebear and he's an awful lot bigger. Um, and of course, we can, it's flipped it because I've shrunk it so much that it's gone beyond. <laughs> it's, it's gone, it's, I've, turned the, I've turned him inside out. <laughs> That's why it's flipped him upside down. Um, but. Again, this so you can see the token is the same size here, five by five, but I've made the image um, much, much bigger, three times bigger. Okay, so there's a few different ways you can do it. Um, I would probably change the token size rather than the image size a lot of the time. So I really like this one from Bugbear to Werebear. I think that works really well. Come on, there we go. Um, that's just me being silly, not working particularly well. Um, but I do like the uh, the bugbear to werebear. And of course, I can hold this down and go straight back to bugbear. So I quite like that. 
Um, so when are you going to use this? Again, you know, yes, you might use it for your characters and stuff. You might have specific monsters. I think if you've got something like were creatures um, that are, or any creatures that are polymorph, they might look like just normal people. Uh, when we look at Stormrock uh, Wreck Isle, for example, let's 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 go and actually look at Stormwreck Isle, um, and we go to Dragon's Rest. If we go all the way up here, not there. Where did I put her? <laughs> all right, Renara. So when we look at Renara, Renara is actually an adult bronze dragon. Now in the adventure, there is no point anywhere in the adventure that suggests that the player should end up in a fight with an adult bronze dragon because they're supposed to be first second maybe third level they're going to die but this is exactly the kind of thing where you could go well hang on a minute this is this is the renara that they know and you know know and love possibly but we could add the new face on and go yeah 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 but if they do upset her we can actually go and find that adult bronze dra oh hang on a minute i think that's a uh, 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 have I got bronze dragon? Let's just go with the wormling one just for because that's handy. Don't want to spend forever doing this. Um, and we potentially can just change that nice and easy, update our token so that, yeah, you know, maybe they are having a conversation with her, something happens and rawr, off she goes and rips them all to pieces. Um, lesson learned. <laughs> <laughs> don't just because she looks like an old lady don't try and mug her in a dark alleyway right <laughs> uh so yeah there are there are places that you could use that and i really can see that's useful um is this on its own for me personally worth the patreon membership probably not for the way that i run my games or at least the encounters that i've got so far but it's really nice to know it's there um and because i've got the patron anyway um yeah it's just there whenever i might want to use it so i think it's great i, I think it's a really nice little module so just as a reminder of course uh, before we finish this one this is called token flip use it don't use it let me know in the comments if you do use it is there something else you use instead of this to achieve something similar um can you think of ways that i've not mentioned that actually it might be really useful because there's always somebody who says, oh, you could do da 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 And I'm like, oh, yeah, of course you can. I feel a bit silly. Uh, <laughs> but share it. Share it with everybody else. So if other people can get your ideas too. Uh, yeah, leave a comment, like the video. And of course, if you're not a member, please do so. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really, really does help out. Uh, take care, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.